One of the most requested features, not only for Leonardo AI, but many apps, is the capability to generate accurate text or words. But did you know that you could actually do this in Leonardo AI? It's true. Now, I know this can be done in other apps like DALL-E, but what if you don't have access to DALL-E or ChatGPT4, or you prefer working out of Leonardo AI? Well, today, I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. This is incredible. So first, let me begin by showing you some examples of some very amazing images I was able to create. So if you haven't seen one of my most recent videos on Leonardo AI collections, that's exactly what you're looking at right here. I'm in my new collections area where I've organized and added plenty of folders all based off of specific categories and or characteristics. Remember to check the links in the description. And so if you haven't seen this video, I highly recommend you do. I'll put it up right here. That way you can understand how to create and organize your prompts and images just like I'm about to show you right now. So in this one, I'm going to first go to the one that says text or words down here at the bottom just to show you some of these amazing examples. So as I open it up, you could see what sort of image I was able to generate using this feature in Leonardo AI. And then we have this one right here. This one did a great job as well. In addition to this one and then this one right here, which is also one of my favorite prompts because I like to get that nice gradient color tone just like this one as well. But then where it gets even better is on this image right here specifically. If you notice, here is the actual image right here. But here's the cool thing about this. I was able to make it completely transparent with a PNG file by using Leonardo AI's transparent toggle button. And then so far over here, right now I'm in my Leonardo AI mega prompts database. I've been having so much fun with this that I've been adding prompt after prompt over here in this Leonardo AI mega prompts database. And so I'll also put a link in the description so you can get direct access to this same exact database because inside of it, there's going to be multitudes of tags and then every alchemy preset is labeled as far as the fine tune model and then any elements that may have been used. So the first thing we'll do is that I'm going to provide you with a few prompts that I know already work very well with this feature. I'll first start with the simplest, most easy type of prompt that's going to give you a fascinating image. However, make sure you do stick around because as we move forward, I'm going to provide you with some amazing prompts and very unique keywords you're definitely going to want to make sure you use. The creativity level is really going to blow you away. So again, back on this Leonardo AI prompts database, you could see some of my most recent ones I was able to make transparent backgrounds with that gradient fill in text color, and then even some of the cooler ones that look just like this. So it really is quite simple. However, there is one small minor detail that you'll have to do first in order to really get this to work out the way you want. So I'll first show you exactly how to use this method. So the first thing you want to do is just simply open up Leonardo AI. From here, what we're going to do is go to image generation and now simply go to image guidance. So we're going to be using the image guidance tool. So the one thing you want to keep in mind, in my personal opinion, my favorite combination is going to be albedo base XL with the dynamic preset. And so I already have that toggled as my option right here. So to get started, you first just need a very simple prompt, but then we're going to progress to something really more detailed that's going to produce amazing looking results and really allow your text and images to stand out amongst the crowd. So as I click up here, I'm going to have to upload something. There's a few options you have to choose from. So just so I can show you this as an example, the options we have are going to be underneath type. Okay, so we have image to image, style reference, depth, edge, pose, and text image input. This is specifically what we're going to use today. Now you could see it says takes in white text on a black background and we'll use this to guide your image generation. Okay, so at first I was a little bit confused on how this all worked out, but once I really started to experiment with it, I was completely blown away with the level of images I was getting. So that's what we're using today, text image input. Let me go ahead and then delete this little cute fox right here, get a clean slate all over again. In order to do this, we're going to need to use some other app or some other resource. And it really is quite simple because all you need to do is just submit a blank document with either black text on a white background or vice versa. So for this method, I'm first going to head over to Canva. Now you don't have to use Canva. You can use anything you want. Microsoft Word, Google Docs, anything. You just need to be able to type out the text that you want onto a black or a white background, just like this. So I have a document right here in Canva. I'm going to select text and I'm just simply going to create a heading. 
Okay, so choose whatever word you want, and then that's what you're gonna type in right here. For example, I'm gonna type in just metrics mule, okay? Just like this, metrics mule. It really is this simple. Once I have it typed out, I'm gonna expand it to take up the majority of my page. Now, you wanna keep in mind, the size of it in this actual document will actually have an effect on the appearance and size of it in Leonardo AI. So if you want your text to take up a fuller page, make sure you expand it to be much larger. If you want your image to be much smaller in Leonardo AI, make it much smaller like I did right here. But in this case, I want mine to be a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna expand it and then I'll center it in the middle, just like that. Okay, now that I have this done, all you need to do is just download it. So I'm gonna hit share and then download. And that first step is literally all you need to do. So now that my image is downloaded, here's exactly what we wanna do now. From your downloads folder, just simply click and drag like I'm doing right here. And I'm gonna drag and drop the actual text image right here into this window. But then here is the very important part. Make sure right here underneath type, Okay, make sure the option text image input is selected. Now I wanna reiterate this over and over again because every time you add a new image right here in image guidance or a new text image, whenever you add a new one, it's automatically gonna change this type every single time back to the default image to image. So just keep that as a reminder that you always need to change and make sure it's gonna say text to image input, okay? So just cross-reference that. I have my image, I have it selected as type text image input from here the next thing we need to do is just add our prompt now again i'll just do a very simple one just to show you the capabilities and all i'm going to say is just cyberpunk style okay two words cyberpunk style now again i'm going to keep my strength right here in the middle at 1.0 okay i'll do one here i'll do one a little bit higher and then i'll do one a little bit lower just to show you the difference okay let me go ahead and select generate on this one i'll then move this up higher hit generate on that and then i'll do it one more time bring it down lower and then i'll also hit generate on this one this is going to be a big difference maker because it gives leonardo more flexibility in the creation process so as a comparison what this actually did for me earlier was exactly this image right here and it did a fantastic job and that's simply just by using the same exact prompt or keyword i just showed you simple cyberpunk style so let's go back to leonardo ai and see what it was able to generate for us this time okay beautiful now look at this here is the first set right here and you could tell the difference in images and i'll get to that in just a second but here's the first set of three i got now if i click to expand this look how amazing this looks. This turned out amazingly well. Okay, we have this one. And then here we are with the next one. I even like that guy with the VR goggles on his face. And then this last one right here. Again, cyberpunk style, fantastic job. And as a reminder, this one or these were used actually with my text image input at the default of 1.00. So that's why this actually turned out so well. However, now same exact prompt, but check this out. Now my image guidance text input is 1.56. And with that, I was was able to get these images right here. Fantastic. Now, the reason why these images are going to look more like this with this gray background, except for this first one right here, is because remember, when you're adjusting that strength slider, the stronger it is or the higher the number, that's going to tell Leonardo AI to create my image more closely resembling my original image reference that I uploaded. However, look at this third and final row I got right here. If I click to expand it, remember, I was using an image for text as reference, but I got no text. In fact, it looks nothing like my image that I was referencing. And the reason is because my text image input is only a 0.27. So the lower it is, you're basically giving Leonardo AI the permission to be more creative and kind of walk away from the original image that you used for a reference. So because of that, in my opinion, what I found that works the best is just leave the image guidance strength on that 1.00, or if you're gonna change it, make it just a little bit less or a little bit over. Okay, so now for the next one. Now here is where we're gonna press the gas on our creativity level and start getting some even cooler images, just like these that you see on your screen right here. So for this, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this whole entire prompt, design a 3D style logo for an Apple. So let's do the same exact thing we did earlier, okay? We're gonna go back to image generation, go to image guidance again, Okay, this time I'm gonna delete metrics mule because I want Apple to be the word. It's already uploaded in here. So I'm gonna select it from my previous generations, 
select confirm, and then here we are. Remember what I said earlier, it automatically defaults right here to my type as image to image. We're not wanting that. Again, remember, always double check it's gonna be text to image. I'll leave my strength at 1.0, and now let me change up the prompt. Now I'm gonna show you a really cool trick, okay? With this being the case, I'm gonna remove the word black background and just have it say the logo should have vibrant colors. Now here's why. Since you already saw these images right here, you see exactly what this prompt is capable of in generating this sort of looking text. This looks fascinating. So the prompt I'm showing you right now actually made these. So there's no reason to double up on this. But what I will do is now I want to show you the trick on how to get those transparent images or PNG file. So now this logo will work well across the board for anything. And it's as simple as just one click of a button over here on the left hand side. Now just make sure you turn on transparency. Okay, now look at that. My button is on transparency. So the reason why I removed the word background from this prompt just a second ago is because Leonardo AI specifically states that whenever you're using the transparency toggle tool, make sure you don't have the word background in your actual prompt. So because of that, background has been removed. So now let's go ahead and now select generate just to see what this can come up with. I'm going to do generate with dynamic and I also want to do it with vibrant as well. Okay, it's going to have a transparent background downloadable as a PNG. Now let's go ahead and see what sort of images we got. Okay, amazing. Check out these images right here. Let me check on this first one right here. This did a pretty good job. It didn't utilize the vibrant colors, but nonetheless, it is a transparent background. However, this next one is exactly what I was looking for. It used those vibrant colors, transparent background right here. And then so again, from earlier today, I was able to get these images right here just by using the same exact method. So I got beaches, white. I got beaches in these gradient colors right here. In addition to the word beaches in that all blue sort of gradient color scheme again. Okay, so I think that you can finally get the gist of it and you know what you can do to generate your own images just like this. Now before we end and not to be too repetitive, now let me just first share with you some amazing prompts you're definitely going to want to use. These next two prompts I'm about to show you have created some amazing looking images of words. Okay, so I first want to show you this one right here. I love the way that this turns turned out. And then here is the actual prompt on your screen right here, a captivating logo featuring a majestic fox. I know this prompt is a large prompt and I don't expect you to have to pause the video and then copy it word for word verbatim. So any prompt that I'm showing and sharing with you guys today, I'll have 100% accessible with a link in the description. In addition to a link in the description to get the same Leonardo AI prompts database. And then another prompt I really liked, which gave me these sort of looking images right here of the word Rolex. It did a fantastic job. Here is the actual prompt right here. Okay. Wallpaper, ethereal gradient lighting, Rolex watch, ultra detailed. And then the thing you want to keep in mind are going to be the color scheme at the very end. But these keywords right here are going to produce some amazing looking images. Okay. So as an example, these right here, these images, these same keywords are going to generate these same sort of looking images. However, adding a little bit different of a dynamic when it comes to text to image. Image, okay. In addition to another one of my favorites that really does work well in these text ones are going to be this prompt right here. Okay. Spiral verse. This keyword does a great job. And this one is spiral verse neon fractal lighting flame. That might seem like a handful, but I'm going to actually put that on the screen in front of you. And then last but not least, this one right over here, electro luminescent, one of my favorite keywords because you're going to generate some nice glowing neon style images just like this one. And so if I go back over here into Leonardo AI, you could see that it's not a home run every time. For an example, I love the way that this looked so much, but it didn't spell the word mule, but I do love the gradient combinations. However, same exact prompt next image it did do a fantastic job on these two over here, okay? In addition to this one right here. Now, the reason why this one is so special is because I chose to take things a step further. It got the text perfectly right. It actually put a cool Rolex watch in the background, but then that color scheme is just amazing. Here's what I did. If I open this back up, here are the full effects, okay? So again, here's that prompt again with those keywords I told you about earlier. I used albedo-based XL 
But now the important thing you want to keep in mind, look at these elements down here. I used two of them. I used the new one called Glow Wave, and then I used Glass Core. I used two elements on one prompt, and that's how I was able to get this fascinating looking image right here. So keep that in mind. Once you find an image or a prompt that works well in generating exactly what you are looking for or something that was very unique you want to keep, the next step is to leave everything the same, but now just add some key elements to your prompt. So again, another example right here, this one right here, fantastic job Rolex, but I was able to kind of get these popping gold and silver colors to look like this because again look at this element i chose i used one and i used glass core okay so watch i'll just do it very quickly before we end just to show you the big difference okay i'm gonna go back to my original one i showed you earlier to this image right here we're gonna do the same exact thing but now we're gonna add one more element i'm clicking my elements and here is somewhat of a new one cyber tech watch what happens when i select cyber tech and then here we go fantastic here is the first row right here i won't expand every single one but as you could see that these images all look fascinating now keep in mind again if I uploaded a text document that contains words much smaller the words won't be as big as you see on your screen so just keep that in mind when generating your text document now look at the different results that we're gonna get oh these are amazing I love the way these all turned out and now for the very last one I think this is my new favorite look at what a phenomenal job that this did combining these two elements Sparkle Core and Glow Wave. Everything else is the same, but that's the final result. Amazing. So there you have it. There is a way to generate creative and unique looking text in Leonardo AI. Now, it might contain an extra step by having to upload a document, but that's not going to be a problem because it is very easy. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Have you tried it? And if you did, I'd love to see some of your own creations. But thank you so much for watching this video. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. Oh,